Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigalos and gigalettes. It's me Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Oh boy, oh boy am I tired. I'm driving home after my longest task ever. Six and a half hours. <laughs> Uh, the client did not initially inform me and the other tasker how long it would be. It was a big move. Lots of heavy. Fuck. So many boxes in tow. It was. We filled up like a 20 foot U haul. It was insane. Uh, but, and I apologize for the rattling sound. That's my uh, appliance dolly that you're hearing. Nothing mechanically wrong with the car. At the time it's recording, something to pop up. Um. All right, so I'm gonna I'm, I want to make this video, guys, because uh, I want to show you guys. There's a reason why I mostly stopped doing lift um, for a while, and that's just because, like, in all honesty, it's just not worth it right now. Um, it's oversaturated with drivers. There are no power zones, you know, like this, and, and so you, I, I mean, like I said, I know I'm not out there every day doing it, but like when I do see a power zone, I mean, before this has been talked about on YouTube before there was methods to, to make more money using power zones. If you had additional preferences for your car like if you had Lux or XL or Lux Black or whatever then there was ways to kind of game the system and make more money with power zones uh, but now but like I said this is something I've noticed um, this is something I noticed even back when I like was only driving here and there back in like you know September uh, August September um, like I said, I would barely see power zones, and when I did, I would try to load them up. And the method that every driver is using to load them up only succeeded in getting rid of the power zones. And I'll show it to you right now. So I'll just, I mean, for context, I'll just run down yesterday what happened as you know when I was out driving. And unfortunately, because this is YouTube and there's no. <laughs> The ride share category on YouTube is dead and buried. <laughs> there's no one making videos. There's there's no significant source of reliable information on YouTube that actually answers questions of how you can make more money or why this is happening. So while I'm definitely not a noob at Lyft, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know when they changed it or if this is an isolated incident, if this only happens to me, I don't know. I do not know. Uh, and like I said, there's no, there's nowhere on YouTube to actually find out this information. And I do not waste a single fucking goddamn minute of time on uberpeople.net because they're a bunch of fucking crap. I can't even imagine what the fuck those idiots are crying about now. Um, so yeah. All right, so yesterday, Yes, it was a frustrating day. I'll just, let me talk about it this real quick. All right, so I I woke up, I was in the car at four. I'm like, okay, let me go to a gas station, get some caffeine in me, go get some energy drinks, and then I will just start driving, like I said. I'm gonna start driving, I'm gonna look for um, schedule pickups, you know, whenever I can, because I didn't have anything lined up for TaskRabbit. I had no Amazon blocks. And another thing I want to do is also, like, I figure if I'm out there and I'm just making a little bit of money on Lyft, then that may be opens the door to getting a random, um, that may be opens the door to getting a random uh, instant offer from Amazon, right? Just because I'll be, in the city, there's like five, there's like four or five Whole Foods that offer instant offers. For example, there's like Saganash, Lincoln Park, West Loop, Lakeview. Uh, I'm not sure about South Loop. Maybe South Loop. Let's. I'm. I'm. 
missing one. Mm, I think there's, there's got to be another one too. So I'm like, okay, like if I'm around the city, maybe just maybe I'll get hit with a instant offer. I'll be like, okay, let's, you know, yeah. You never know. You never know. Okay. So anyway, um, so my first ride was at 430. It was an airport ride, not that far from where I turned my app on. Uh, $5 cash tip on that one, knocked it out pretty quick. Eight miles into the city, and I think my next ping was around five something. I don't remember exactly what it was. I got a scheduled pickup lined up for 5.55. Or 6 a.m. So I got that one around 5 a.m. So I'm like, okay, so they're probably not going to send me anything lengthy between 5:20 and 5:50, right? So I'm like, I had 30 minutes, you know, of of time between that ride, between my previous ride and my scheduled pickup. And then I got the the rumbles, real bad, real bad. And I'm like, okay, well, this isn't good. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to Export Fitness because I know they're not 24 hours anymore because of COVID. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to Export Fitness and drop some heat. Go to the Export Fitness, closed until 6 a.m. Fantastic. Uh, all right, I'm going to go to Starbucks. They open at 5, right? Go to Starbucks, drop some heat. Every Starbucks I went to, closed. At this point, it's like 540. Uh, there's a jewel on Broadway? Right, uh, I mean, that's, I don't know if you call that Wrigleyville or Boys Town, but um, pretty much like Broadway and Addison. And they used to be 24 hours because that used to be one of my stops for Coca-Cola. And I go there and they don't open till six. I'm like, great. At this point, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, now I'm like, I'm in physical pain. I gotta drop heat so bad, right? Um, but I'm like, fuck it. Looks like I'm gonna have to wait to use the bathroom until after I drop off my scheduled pickup. So I'm on, it said be online at 5.50. I'm online at 5.50. Nothing. It's got to pick up ping, never came in. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess, uh, you know, last ditch effort before I shit in an alley. Uh, <laughs> there's a gas station on Addison and Halstead. That one had an open bathroom, so I dropped heat there. Uh, got some chocolate milk because I love chocolate milk because I'm I'm a 35 year old child and and then I uh, turn my app on got a ride to the West Loop I think I did a few rides after that I managed to get a couple more scheduled pickups at airport rides but here's the thing out of the three scheduled pickups I had they're scheduled from 6 a.m. till 9 a.m. not a single one came in on my app not one so I had a very good amount of time where I was literally sitting there because I'm like, okay, they're not going to send me pings if I got the schedule pickup. And none of them ever came in. Okay. So, anyway. So, I saw my first power zone at one point. And then, so I saw my first power zone pop in. And I tried, I tried loading it up. You know, I drove towards it. It wasn't really that far. And then I... I remember, because this is something that I saw back when I was driving more in August, September. I remember the the loading method of power zones was, you know, if you have the other, um, you know, trip types, you get there and then you switch the trip type to, you know, Lux or XL to try to load it up. And then you switch it back to get the additional power zone money to your next, uh, added to your next ride. And that's when I remembered, like, I might as well record this for the sake of my viewing audience. Because I said no one else is talking about this. And then we'll cut to that right now. Okay.
All right, so there you have it. You guys saw, and this and, and my horrible attempt at new <laughs> videography. Um, you guys saw what happened when I attempted to um, load up a power zone using the traditional method. And like I said, I I've done maybe maybe a hundred rides since since August. So I understand that like my knowledge of the game has been reduced greatly over all this. Um, but I don't know what is, is this how it is now? Is this, or is, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching, I'm, I'm making this video to kind of like, kind of get answers from my audience because I don't know what's going on. Like is loading, did they get rid of loading up power zones? And keep in mind the two power zones that I saw on Friday are the first two I've seen in months. <laughs> and, but I know I don't drive that much, but like I said, I don't, I don't, they, they're not out there. I just don't see them. So yeah. All right, guys, let's talk after this one. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.